So like any good business owner, when you're faced with doing a pilot, you bring your number one client in. And so conveniently for the Embark pilot, uh, my number one client of the last probably 20 years had gotten two brand new Keishan puppies. She's always had Keishans. She got two puppies. I said, Mrs. Benner, for all the great things you've done for us as a practice, I'm going to Embark test your two puppies. They were about four months old at the time. Um, I'll be honest, she's probably the only Keishans that I see. And I honestly have no idea if they have any genetic diseases. We were going to just prove they were 100% Keishan and have a great day and get her a free test. To everyone's surprise, um, I think including Embark's surprise, both of the dogs came back positive for von Willebrand's disease. Um, as far as any of us can tell or know, that's not something that's recognized in Keishans. And that led to a whole cascade of events. We then tested all the rest of her Keishans, none of which carried von Willebrand's, but were from a different breeder. Um, these two puppies, we went further and had them tested actually at Cornell and had their blood level of von Wilburn factors tested. The male was found to be in a safe range, although he's certainly at risk for bleeding. He's not expected to have active problems. Uh, so we did go ahead and we neutered him very successfully. Everything went great. The female, however, um, her test results put her in a very dangerous zone. We were concerned enough that we actually reran the test and the rerun also showed her in a very dangerous zone for risk of bleeding. And it was determined in the best interest of the dog to actually send her to a specialty hospital with blood products where they did laparoscopic surgery and just an ovariectomy. The dog did great after surgery, but everything was managed perfectly. It has gotten to the point now where Mrs. Benner obviously is aware of the disease process her dogs have. Um, she's concerned and we're being proactive about it. I've learned more about von Willebrand's. I've learned that other diseases can exacerbate the way the gene is expressed. And so we have these dogs on a regular screening once a year for any underlying health diseases, blood panels, urinalysis, and things like that. Mrs. Benner's gone so far as to research because she has a mountain house uh, about two hours away. She's researched every hospital between here and there that has blood products on staff so that she knows where she can go in the event that she has an emergency. And she actually went back and reached out because she knows one of the other female pups from the litter. Sure enough, that dog was tested and that dog also has von Willebrand's and went through a very similar process to have her spay done and she's done well as well. So it's an amazing case. You know, the things you find that you never expected that you know have actually saved a life that make what we're doing, quite frankly, what you guys at Embark are doing so, so helpful and beneficial to us.